So I record this session, yeah, so that we can upload it to YouTube. And you of you will be YouTube stars in my channel. Okay. Let's continue with the next example. <clears throat> yeah, so previously we discussed already about the application of dot product in three dimensional force vectors. And so the first application will be to know the angle between the two vectors. And the third one is when we would like to know the moment of a force about an axis. So please take note on the clear difference between the previous slides discussion. Previous discussion, we were discussing and we were learning about the moment of a force about a point in three dimension. But now is the moment of a force about an axis also in three dimension. An axis so means it's not a point, but rather it is a line or a long axis. So the definition of moment about an axis is equals to the dot product. So this is another difference. In moment of a force about a point, the result here, yeah, the moment itself, is a factor in three dimension. But the moment of a force about an axis is a scalar. Why? Because by definition, it is the result of a dot product. Okay, a dot product of what? So moment about an axis is the dot product of the unit factor of that axis, the unit factor of that axis from the beginning to the end, the unit factor. Remember again, the definition of a unit factor is the length uh, of that factor divided by its length. So it becomes a unit factor, a, a factor which has a magnitude of one in the direction of that axis or you know, particular direction. And dot, the moment about a point, so the lambda axis here is basically a factor yeah, because it is a unit factor. Moment about the point here is also a factor, three-dimensional three -dimensional factor in three-dimensional space. For example, here, moment AB, MAB, which is basically moment of a force about axis AB. So it can be calculated by dot product of lambda AB to moment about point A, yeah. lambda AB here is the unit factor from A to B, and then you multiply it by dot, multiply it by dot product with moment about a point A, a factor, this one, a, a, a moment factor. A here is the origin point of that axis AB. Or al alternatively, you can also calcul calculate this MAB, moment about axis AB, from the lambda AB, dot product, moment about point B. Okay, moment about point B, the end point of that axis. For example, here, we have similar like previous uh, example on moment about a point, right? We have the force CD. Okay, we have the force CD. The C itself, the coordinate is, so this is zero. The X coordinate is zero. The Y coordinate is two meter. And the Z coordinate is also zero, okay? So the D here, the D coordinate is X axis is minus 0 0.4. Y uh, axis is zero meter. The Z axis is positive 2.2. .2. Yeah, the coordinate of D, yeah, D. Okay, then A, the A coordinate here is X axis is zero. The y axis is also zero, and the z axis is negative 1.2 meter. Now, in the previous slide, we only calculate the moment of, uh, of this force, CD, about point A. Now, you are, asked, you are asked to calculate the moment of this force, FCD, about the axis AB. So, axis AB is basically the whole axis A, the whole axis A until B. Coordinate of B here, X axis is 2.4. Y axis is negative 2.4 meter. Z axis is uh, 
zero, yeah, the axis is zero. Okay. So how to calculate then the moment of this force about the axis AB? Okay, so <clears throat> first is we can calculate the moment about the axis by dot product of the lambda axis dot m point m point the moment about point and you can choose either the beginning of that axis moment about point a or otherwise you could you could also choose the moment about its end point which is moment about point b yeah lambda ab is easily can be calculated right yeah from this one you we can we can we can uh, determine the factor ab and then we can calculate the magnitude using pythagoras theorem from this 2.4 square plus 2.4 square plus 1.2 square and then that factor ab divided by that magnitude becomes the unit factor ab lambda ab moment about point a is calculated similar like in the previous example of moment about a uh, moment of a force about a point in three dimension you can calculate either by RAC cross product, yeah, that dot product, cross product FCD, or you can also calculate RAD towards the end point of the force, yeah, F force FCD, cross product with the force FCD. If you, ca if you calculate about from the end point of lambda, of, of the axis AB, then you can calculate it RBC yeah, from uh, the end point of the axis B towards the beginning point of the force FCD. So that position factor equals to RBC cross FCD or from RBD cross FCD. So from the beginning, uh, from the end point of the axis AB to the end point of the force FCD. RBD. So this four should be equal, the result should be equal. So MAB, moment about axis AB by that force FCD equals to lambda ab dot uh, inside parenthesis rac cross fcd equals to lambda ab dot inside parenthesis rad cross fcd equals to lambda ab dot inside parenthesis rbc cross fcd equals to lambda ab dot equal inside parenthesis rbd cross fcd so we observe here that lambda ab is common to all the equation yeah? lambda ab here is the same to four equation yeah and fcd also the same the force fcd is also the same what differs only the position factors r yeah the the, the, the position factor r r either you could choose from the beginning point of the axis yeah, a to the beginning point of the force rac or the beginning point of the axis a to the end point of the force b rad or the end point of the axis B towards the beginning point of the force BC, or from the end point of the axis B towards the end point of the force B, yeah, RBD. So which one to choose then? If you are asked to calculate such problem, then choose the simplest R, the simplest R, which does usually do not does not have too many factor or too complicated factor. Okay, let's continue. So then lambda AB equals to lambda AB X pi plus lambda AB J plus lambda AB K. Yeah. Uh, again, this is a unit factor. So when you write it down, please do not forget to use cap. Okay, then lambda AB X is calculated from the X divided by D, the distance. Yeah, distance is equals to 3.6 so where does it come from the 3.6 so the d here equals the square root of uh, 2.4 square plus minus 2.4 square and plus uh, minus 1.2 square okay so this equals to 3.6 okay then uh, from here, you obtain two thirds i plus two thirds j plus one third k. Yeah, so then, the force F itself, FCD, you express in terms of its magnitude multiplied to the unit factor lambda CD. Similarly, the unit factor lambda CD is obtained from from C to D, yeah, dx 
uh, divided by the distance d to obtain the lambda c dx. Lambda c dy is obtained from the difference in the y coordinate dy divided by the distance d multiplied by unit factor j and then dz. Uh, then the lambda c d uh, z is obtained from the dz, the, the difference in the coordinate, in the z coordinate between c and d divided by the distance, the d. Yeah, then you obtain here 3000 multiplied by minus 0 0.4 divided by 3 plus minus 2 divided by 3j plus 2.2 divided by 3k. Fcd equals to minus 400 newton i, yeah, uh, minus 2000 newton j plus 2000 newton k. Okay. Then uh, after that, we go straight forward to calculate. There are, as mentioned earlier in the previous slide, that there are four position factors which you could choose. First is the RAC. RAC is from the beginning point of the axis, the point A, towards the beginning point of the force, point C. And the factor is 2 meter J plus 1.2 meter K, right? Like the one asked by Elgad in the previous session. So from A to C, 2 meter J plus 1.2 meter K. RAD is minus 0 0.4 meter I plus 3.4 meter K. RBC is from equals to minus 2.4 meter I plus 4.4 meter J. RBD equals to minus 2.8 meter I plus 2.4 meter J plus 2.2 meter K. Which one to choose from this form? Choose the simplest R. Yeah, uh, so if possible, not to choose the RBD because it contains too many three uh, or three, uh, three components. But then you may choose either RAC or RAD yeah, because the number also simpler. So let's say choose, we choose here RAC, yeah, RAC. So lambda, the moment about axis AB equals to lambda of the axis, this one, two third I minus two third J minus one third K. Then, uh, dot product RAC cross FCD. So this one RAC cross FCD basically is what we have obtained in the previous session. Yeah, we have calculated right in the previous example, moment about point A. So 6,800 6, Newton meter I minus 4,800 Newton meter J plus 800 Newton meter K. And dot product with the lambda of the axis two third I minus two third J minus one third K. So I, <coughs> the I component multiplied by the I, plus the J component multiplied by the J, plus the K component multiplied by the K, yeah, for dot product. So then we obtain 4,587, 86.7 Newton meter. So this is the moment about V axis. Okay, the second use of that uh, uh, dot product, yeah, dot product is, after the first use is to calculate, again, the, the, the angle between two factors. Second use is to, cal to calculate moment about an axis. And the third use of the product in three-dimensional uh, force factor is to calculate then the nearest distance between two factors. When we have two factors like this, what is the nearest distance between the two, the line of action? So the component of a factor F that is parallel to an axis AB is given to Lambda AB, the unit factor yeah, of AB, of the axis AB, dot product F, right? So this is, for example, if uh, we have two factor. Let's see, usually we use this, although we, 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 don't, we are not that uh, aware that actually we use the concept of dot product. So when we ask what is the component of, if this is a factor, what is the component of F towards X? The component of f towards x is what? Usually f cosine theta, right? If we, this is the angle is theta, f cosine theta. Actually, what we do is basically the component, this is equal to fx, right? Yeah. So basically, what we are doing is fx here equal to f. Uh, sorry, uh, it is. f dot product i yeah f dot product the, the factor f dot product the unit factor of the x axis which is i so then this equals to what 
the magnitude of F multiplied by the magnitude of I multiplied by, by definition of dot product, yeah, cosine of the angle between F and I, or basically between F and X axis, cosine theta. So since the unit vector magnitude is one, right? Because it is a unit vector. So it basically then equals to F cosine. You understand now where does it come from, this formula? It comes from dot product. To find the component of a vector, that is parallel to an axis AB. So the component of this F parallel to axis X is basically lambda AB, the unit factor of that axis. In this case, it is I dot product F. The perpendicular component, which is FY, then in this case, yeah, will be the square root of F square, the magnitude of F square minus this F square in parallel. So in this case, then, Fy, the magnitude at the y axis will be equals to square root of magnitude of f square minus f x. Correct, right? Because basically by Pythagoras, f square equals to f x square plus f y square. Understand, yeah? Until here. So from the definition of moment about an axis in the previous slide, m axis equals to the force perpendicular multiplied by distance yeah the force perpendicular to that axis multiplied by the distance so this is similar with the definition in two dimensional moment so where d is the perpendicular distance so here then the distance between an axis and a factor uh, in this case will, will be then equals to the moment about an axis divided by the force perpendicular to that axis. Okay. Okay, let's for example determine now let's see. Uh, wait, oh. this part. Determine the shortest distance. So it can be the same system as in the previous example. But now we have calculated the moment about the axis AB. The question is now determine the shortest distance between the line of action of force F. Here now F is uh, expressed already, yeah, a minus 4,000, 400, minus 400 Newton I, minus 2,000 Newton J, plus 2,200 Newton K. And the line of action uh, AB, this is the line of action AB, and the line uh, AB, okay? So first is we, we calculate the moment about the axis AB. The moment about AB is equals to 4,587.7 Newton meter, as we have calculated earlier. This one, yeah, 4,587 Newton. So this is the moment uh, of about axis AB due to the force FCB, okay? So now is the shortest distance between that force, another force, minus 400 Newton I, etc., and that line AB. So we have to find this force FCD, uh, the magnitude equals to 3000 Newton. Yeah, uh, basically this is FCD, sorry. Then the F perpendicular will be, we calculate from the square root of the F square, the magnitude of the force, minus F parallel to MAB. So the force parallel to MAB, how do we obtain it? By lambda AB dot product with that force. Okay, lambda AB dot product with the force. So the F parallel equals to lambda AB is here. We have calculated in the previous example. Two third I minus two third J minus one third J. Dot product with that force. Minus 100 Newton I minus 2000 Newton J plus 2200 Newton K. So this is the the force the FCD basically. Yeah? So from here we obtain the force parallel, yeah, the co parallel component of FCD that is parallel to this axis AB is uh, the magnitude. Yeah, the magnitude is 1000 divided by 3 Newton. 1000 divided by 3 Newton. So the, the perpendicular component will be that magnitude, 3000 Newton squared minus 1000 
divided by 3 square. Okay, then we obtain <coughs> 2981.42 Newton. This is the force perpendicular to uh, the axis AB. Yeah, so then the, uh, the moment about that axis divided by this force perpendicular will be equal to the distance between that force, yeah, between this force CD, FCD, the line of action FCD, and that line AB. So equals to 4586.7 Newton meter divided by the F perpendicular, 2981.42 Newton. So we obtain 1.538 meter. Okay. So uh, the chapter ends. Let's do this exercise. Uh, we still have a 2. Point, now it's 2.28 p.m. I uh, give you about 10 minutes time. Is it enough to try to work on this? Yeah. So about 2:40. Then who wants to try, Gary or Elga? Gary. Okay, uh, first I pause it. Okay, Gary. Determine the moment of the force F 150 Newton about the diagonal BA. So this is moment about an axis, right? So calculate first the lambda BA, the unit factor of the BA. Okay, coordinate A is 0, 1.5 meter, comma 0. Okay, coordinate B is 0. Comma zero, okay, zero point. How do you know that it is zero point three meter? This is zero point five, yeah. B, B, the coordinate B here, the distance here is zero point one five. B. O B. The 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 distance from the origin to B is zero point one five, yes. Okay, C is, okay, you have to calculate C using Pythagoras, right? Uh, zero point square root of 0 0.35 minus uh, 0 0.15 square root to find the coordinate, uh, the X coordinate of C. The Y is zero, the Z is zero, yeah. Is it one, correct? Can you put the calculation also in the whiteboard? Uh, can you repeat, sir? Sorry. Huh? Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, can you repeat the Pythagoras? Yeah, we want to find the coordinate at here at C, right? Yeah. Okay, so OC, so what is OC? OC will be equals to square root of BC square, right? 
minus OB. OB square, right? Uh, yeah. What is that? What is the value of that? Z square itu 0.35. Yes, 0.35 square. Minus OB is 0.15. Oh, okay. 0.35. Okay, calculate here in the whiteboard, no problem. So, uh, Yeah, so the coordinate of C is 0 0.316, 0, 0, right? the c1 the coordinate of c the third row yes okay okay now you find lambda ab so uh, find the factor ab so ob which is coordinate of b minus oa yeah and then divide it by the magnitude of ab Thank you. 
Jadi rumus lambdanya apa? So uh, to obtain lambda AB ya yeah, equals to the factor AB divided by the magnitude of factor AB. Okay. okay. And factor AB is can be obtained from factor OB. Factor OB basically is from the origin to B minus OA. Hmm. Then divided by Okay, so OB minus OA is basically from the coordinate here, uh, zero I plus zero J plus zero point one five K, negative zero I, negative zero point one five J, negative zero K. The magnitude is you can obtain using Pythagoras theorem, right? To obtain the magnitude of AB, yeah, using the square root of 0 0.15 uh, meter square uh, plus 0 0.3 uh, meter square. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. So here, uh, the coordinate of A, the Y mm -hmm. part is not 0 0.15 meter, right? This is supposed to be 0 0.3 meter, right? Here is. The A. Yes or no? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'll help you because time is not many. So it's not much, not much time anymore. So from A to B, the factor will be in X direction is zero. Y direction will be minus 0 0.3 meter, right? Minus 0 0.3 meter J. The Z direction is <coughs> plus. Uh, 0 0.15 meter k then this one is divided by the magnitude of this so the magnitude will be square root of minus 0 0.3 square root equal to how much Zero point zero nine, yeah, plus zero point zero two two five. Zero point one one two five. So equal to zero point three three. Okay, then uh, lambda AB equals to minus uh, 0 0.3 meter J divided by 0 0.33. Okay, uh, meter plus 0 0.15. Okay. Equals to <clears throat> zero point uh, minus zero point nine zero nine I uh, J Plus uh, 
Zero point. Zero point four five four five. Okay. okay, so from here, then what you need to do afterwards, it's sorry. Moment about axis AB equal to lambda AB by dot F. Uh, From let's say if this is CB, this this is point D, yeah, point D, yeah. This is, this is point D. It means then the 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 easiest will be from B to D, right? The easiest will be from D B to D. So this is F. F D right F one at fifty newton right. Let's say F D. So equal about point. Sorry, not like this, but moment. Yeah, this is supposed to be. Moment about. Let's say point B. So point B is easier. Point B is easier. So this equals to lambda AB dot uh, force B. Uh, sorry. Wrong again. R uh, BD cross FD. Okay, so the FD here basically equals to the direction is towards minus y axis, right? So FD basically equals to minus 150 Newton G. Okay, since time is up, please do this as your homework. Yeah, uh, we submit, I will put the assignment later in the in the Google Classroom, so first is...